Hello and welcome back to day two of Lynn Academy Virtual on the Marketplaces channel. I'm Gabrielle, the director of Lynn Academy, and I'm excited to join you as we dive back into the future of e-commerce. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's topics. If you missed anything, you can rewatch on demand at the webinar link provided in your registration email. Before we get started, I'd like to take you through the event console on your screen. You'll see my video alongside the slides and speaker information on the right. If you have any questions, please drop them into the Q&A box. The slides and other useful resources are available for you to download below. You can easily find tools using the menu bar at the bottom of the console. You can also check out the full agenda at any time by clicking on the Lynn Academy agenda image. At the end of the session, you'll be able to select your next topic or head back to the agenda to find out more. So let's get started. I'd like to welcome our first guest, Maria Simon, Global Product Marketing Manager at eBay, who'll be giving a quick fire masterclass in eBay managed payments and item specifics. Take it away, Maria. Hello, and welcome to my presentation. My name is Maria Simon, and I work at eBay. I am part of the product organization at eBay, and our goal is to help you scale your businesses. In order to uh, achieve that, what we're doing is we're, uh, we're trying to build the right tools for you to scale your businesses and at the same time helping you use those tools effectively. Today, what I'd like to do is talk with you about listing optimization and what you can personally do to improve the visibility of your listings um, on eBay. First thing I'd like to mention about listing optimization is what is it and how do we look at it? So oftentimes I get the questions from sellers asking, hi Maria, like what's new about listing optimization? Is What has changed? And I think one important thing to note about listing optimization is that this is a philosophy. This is a mindset. And um, what our algo is trying to do is it's trying to solve for the buyer. Our algo is designed to think and act like the buyer. So this means that the things which buyers appreciate about listings on eBay will lead to higher ranking. And at the same time, things that buyers don't care so much about or things they don't value at all might lead to a depriorization in ranking. To give you one specific example, buyers love free shipping. So free shipping is something which we see in our data leads to significantly a higher uh, conversion rate. And this is why our algo, because based on the data, the algo has understood that this is something which drives conversion. This is why um, it actually boosts listings which have free shipping in it. So bottom line here is when you think about listing optimization, try to think about what your buyers want. Try to think about how, how they feel about your products, how they would look at them, and then try to optimize your listings uh, in a way that buyers will find them attractive and would like to convert quickly. As you know, uh, eBay gives you a lot of flexibility in how you present your listings. Um, on, one hand, on, on one side, this is a huge amount of freedom, which is fantastic, but at the same time, it can also be a burden because it's a big responsibility to make sure that you uh, just check all the boxes and make sure that uh, your listings are pr um, presented appropriately. So now let's get started and uh, jump straight to the details. Um, before, before we set up and talk about specific levers that you can pull and things that you can optimize, one thing I'd like you to remember is that listing optimization, as I just mentioned, it's about you. Uh, uh, sorry, it's not about you, but it's about our bias. So what we tend to do, and this includes myself, like we spend all days in front of the laptop. So we usually have a desktop computer. So, so we have a big screen in front of us. At the same time, 63% of our eBay GMV is on mobile, has a mobile touch point. So uh, please don't always assume your own situation when you think about shopping on eBay, because you may also do a lot of your shopping on a desktop computer, but please think about mobile. So this is where our buyers are. And the number of 63% who already shop on, uh, on mobile, this number is increasing every quarter. So this is something to keep in mind. 
Also, um, please remember that buyers usually don't like to read a lot. So when you optimize your listings, make sure that it really has all the relevant information. And we will just talk about it in a second, what this information is, but also make sure it's really to the point. Use bullets as, bullets as much as you can to help your buyers just jump through your item descriptions and just check, okay, yeah, is this the right product? It, does it come in the right package? And then if it's great value for money, okay, off we go, we can purchase the item. So really make sure that it's um, presented in a way that they don't have to read a lot. It's really just about making sure, ticking all the boxes, making sure that this is exactly the product they're looking for. Um, one helpful thing I can also recommend to you is show your listings to friends or family members who are not related to your eBay business. So this usually helps in getting a new perspective, a fresh perspective, and making sure that um, this is something which is also understood by people who are not connected to your business. So how do they like your pictures? Do they find the relevant information easily? Uh, do they know how big the item is? Um, do they know what's included and so on? So just show it to random people around you and ask them for your feedback. So you, I'm sure you will find a lot of interesting insights. The second thing um, I'd like to uh, I'd like to make you aware of is that it's absolutely critical before you start to think about what you're trying to achieve. What are you solving for? Do you want to increase your GMV? Do you want to increase the quantity sold? Do you want to improve your margin? Do you want to get rid of items that sit on your shelves? Just be clear on what you are solving for, what you are optimizing for. And at the same time, this means that please make sure that you know what you're optimizing against. Like who is your competition? What's your benchmark? Uh, in order to enable you to do this, uh, when we're talking about tools, TerraPeak is a fantastic tool to help you achieve that. So um, TerraPeak, and we will come to this also later in more detail, is TerraPeak is a free to use tool for our shop subscribers which um, enables you to search for specific keywords or for specific product identifiers. And then it will give you a full list of the items which have sold in the last 30 days, in the last 90 days, in the last year. So you can sort by um, what's the, like which seller did the most GMB, which sellers sold the most quantities, but this will give you a great idea of who's actually converting, who's making the money and what are they doing differently. So from my perspective, this is absolutely critical to see what are they doing differently. Maybe they have um, better pictures, maybe they have better keywords, but really be clear on what you're trying to achieve and who you're competing against. Okay, so uh, now that we have talked about the foundations, so thinking about the bias and knowing your competition, let's uh, jump straight into the details. Um, this, uh, there's a million things uh, you can optimize on your listings. There's a lot of influencing factors, but what we find very often when we look at the data is that there's actually five basics which are far more impactful. So before you get lost in the details and over-engineer listings, my recommendation is get the basics right. So even if I talk to sellers who are quite successful on eBay, who are quite large, what I find is that even those sellers, they have still room for improvement with their listings. So it's not that everyone else is doing things perfectly. So there's always something to do really. So if you have limited amount of time available, my recommendation is focus on those five uh, basics. The single most important influencing factor is keywords. It's all about the keywords. So keywords is what goes in your title. So your 80 characters you have available. And uh, this is indexed for our eBay search. So please be aware that only the title and our item specific are indexed. So whatever you put in the item description, it will not have an impact on whether your items are surfaced in search results or not. So therefore, please, if you have limited time available, please make sure to invest a lot of time into having the relevant keywords that describe your product perfectly. Avoid keyword spamming. So if you have a lot of keywords which are maybe too generic, 
then what might happen is that, first of all, this might be considered as keyword spamming. Uh, but on the other hand, this may lead to a lot of traffic coming to your listings uh, from buyers who may be looking for something completely different. And then what happens is if they don't purchase, if they don't convert, um, then we will assume or the algo will assume that something's wrong with your listings and then we will deprioritize your listing and search. So it's very important to get good traffic. So this is why it's absolutely critical to have the relevant keywords uh, to make sure that those people who arrive at your listing are likely to convert. And this is what we always benchmark against your competitors. So against people selling very similar items like yourself. So max out your 80 characters, avoid to use any special characters because this is not what buyers are looking for and then really max them out. Something I'd really like to recommend to you is uh, using Terrapeak for this purpose. Uh, as I mentioned before, Terrapeak is very easy to use. You can enter any keywords and then it will give you uh, the top sellers uh, for those specific keywords. So very easy. Um, and then you can also look, okay, is the competition using different ones? Um, one last thing to mention about keywords is that um, the order of keywords is not important for our algo because we just take the individual words and then yeah it's it, it's just a yeah data matching exercise however think about psychological factors think about the buyer how they look at it if you are use uh, if you're selling a branded product please put the brand name first so my recommendation is put the most important uh, or conversion drivers the most important information the conversion drivers first and uh, but don't over engineer it so don't spend too much time on it but things like brand is always uh, important and it's also important for external search engines because this is what they value as well so not important for ebay but just think about psychology and how buyers read your listings and read the first words of your title the second most important levers and there's actually two of them which are most impactful because they make sure that you sh actually show up in search results so first of all keywords in the title make sure you're in the full list and then what buyers do or what 80 percent of our buyers do they filter their search um the, the search results why because we have 1.5 billion listings available on ebay at any time of course this is just too much to look at, particularly if you're using a small smartphone. And this is why it's so important uh, to have filters. Those filters are fed by your item specifics. And this is why uh, it's so critical to make sure that you have all the item specifics included, which we recommend or which are even mandatory. I'm sure you have heard a lot from us uh, this year about um, adding item specifics and how important it is, but it can't be overemphasized. And again, it makes sure that when buyers start to filter that your, um, that your listings will actually stay in the search results because otherwise you will not have any chance of converting. When you think about item specific, then please make sure that you add the information which or the values which uh, buyers are actually looking for. For example, if you think about colors, think about the uh, think about the 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 colors that uh, people would look for, like something like red, green. But if you get more um, granular, if you use maybe beige or like if you like lemon, then this is maybe colors which um, which buyers would not be looking for because they would rather be filtering for yellow. So please make sure that you use uh, values which are specific enough, but at the same time also generic enough to make sure that actually, uh, yeah, your your search results are surfaced. There's also the opportunity to create your own item specifics on eBay, but they are usually not surf and they are usually not indexed for search. So I would recommend please do not invest too much time into having your own item specifics, rather invest in having the right ones and the ones which we recommend because those recommendations are based on our data. So this is what buyers are actually looking for. Um, third lever. Uh, which uh, I, uh, where I usually see a lot of opportunity for many sellers is pictures. Pictures is actually, this is your shop front on eBay. And I'd like to always like to compare this to high street. So when you're walking on high street and you see a nice shop front, uh, which is nicely arranged in the products and it looks 
um, in, uh, nice and clean. And this is, of course, you're more likely to enter the shop and to have a look at those products. And the same goes for your listings on, on eBay. So please always make sure that you have high resolution pictures, uh, that you use only transparent backgrounds, and that you add as many pictures as you can. So um, our data found that sellers who have at least five pictures, they have a much higher likelihood to convert than uh, sellers with the same product, but less pictures. This is also a great way to reduce any, um, any potential returns because by having a lot of pictures, having from different perspective, maybe also from product and in the context of how it is used, uh, then this will help your buyers have a much clearer understanding of how big is this? Is this fit for my purpose? And is this actually what I'm looking for and the quality I'm looking for? So again, min minimum number of pictures, try to add at, as, at least five pictures for each product. But of course you can add up to 12 pictures. So do as many as you can to give more transparency. This will help boost your conversion. At the same time, it will help reduce your returns. Um, one last thing I'd like to mention on this topic is that uh, please don't use any watermarks or graffiti on your um, on, on your pictures. So this is against uh, our picture policy, which is there for very good reason, because this is state of the art buyer experience. So buyers are looking for clean pictures. Second reason is that also external search engines are quite strict on watermarks and graffiti. So if you use them, uh, you will, will most likely block your listing. So this is also a big traffic source, which you're just letting go of because of using that. So please make sure you have brilliant pictures so sellers actually enjoy engaging with your listing. Um, the next topic which i am like to talk with you about is something which is um, a, a hot, um, hot topic, which is price. So everyone loves to make a bargain. Uh, so this is something which is uh, the same in all the countries. Um, it's not critical on eBay to be always lowest price, but please make sure that your listings are actually competitive and price competitive. So if you have um, a higher price than your competition, even if it's just a pound or two, then please make sure that you offer value for money and this added value, which justifies your higher price is actually something which buyers care about. So. Uh, again, for this, Terrapeak is a great way to uh, look at which are the items that convert, at which price, at which average price are they sold. Um, please use Terrapeak to identify this and make sure that your prices are really competitive. And then if there's a price difference, that it's actually something uh, that uh, buyers care about because otherwise you are less likely to convert. And the five and last thing I'd like to mention about listing optimization levers or the most impactful listing optimization levers is free shipping. Free shipping is a controversial topic uh, among sellers. Many sellers argue, okay, there's no free shipping. Someone's got to pay for it. And you're absolutely right. On the other hand, free shipping is not perceived as an added service. So this is not perceived usually by something where buyers say this comes on top because when I shop on eBay, when I order online, usually they, are, they never intend to pick, it, pick up their items by themselves. So they always expect, okay, the item needs to be shipped anyway. So this should be part of the package. What we find on our data, and this is retail standards, is that items with free shipping are far more likely to convert. 71% of all transactions on eBay already ship for free. So this is what you're competing against. Buyers simply want it. It doesn't mean that you have to actually ship it for free, but of course it needs to be a mixed calculation. So you just need to include your shipping price on top of your item price and then just show that, okay, shipping is for free for the buyer. So it's a very strong signal. They love it. Everyone loves to do a bargain, as I mentioned. And this is a strong signal which lead to much higher conversion. Um, if you have products which 
have a good cross-sell rate, uh, then it's again, do a mixed calculation, see what your average cross-sell rate is, and then add this amount to your listings to make sure that it's still, um, yeah, you still have a solid margin for your products. But again, it's strong driver. We will, uh, we will give more visibility to listings with free shipping because it's such a strong conversion driver. And going forward, we will actually even call it out more prominently in eBay search and on the view item page. Uh, to make sure sellers are aware which ship uh, which um, products ship for free and also what's very important for us that there is fast shipping so uh, free and fast so summarizing uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of levers you can pull for optimizing the listings but there's five levers which are far more impactful than all the other things you can look at, uh, at like item descriptions so if you have limited time available i encourage you to first make sure that you get your basics right so have all the relevant keywords have all the important item specifics have attractive pictures and many of them uh, have competitive prices and then lastly always offer free shipping on all of your listings TerraPeak is a great tool to help you achieve that, to benchmark yourself against the competition, see where you stand, compare, and then maybe optimize based on what others are doing, which may be more successful for you. Um, lastly, uh, what I'd like to recommend to do, you, so this was just a short introduction to the topic. Um, if you would like to learn more about this topic, I encourage you to have a look at our eBay Seller Center. Uh, for the UK where you find a lot of tips and tricks around how you can optimize your listings. And then we have a great YouTube channel where there's also a lot of tutorials. There's also a lot of videos, seller stories from other sellers where you can learn about how they go about um, their listings on eBay, how they scale their businesses. And there's a lot of tips and tricks where you can maybe can also learn something from other sellers on how you can go about it. So this is it for now. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, and if there's any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. There are lots of tips we can take from that session. Make sure you check out the agenda for an overview of what we have coming up or jump straight into your next session by clicking on one of our three channel options. See you soon.